News 4 sports anchor Brooke Grimsley is with us. She spoke to the coach just a short time ago. Yes, Emily, I was able to get Gregory here today to get his side of the story on all of the events that unfolded around this Cardinal Ritter story. Just yesterday, Cardinal Ritter was supposed to take the field to play Granite City, but there would be no game and no rest of the season for Cardinal Ritter. Their season was suspended and the entire coaching staff was let go after they used an ineligible player in their first game of the season. Gregory told me today that it was a lapse in judgment. When you coach kids, you let them know when they make a mistake. Uh, they had to be held accountable for their actions. And just unfortunately, it's me on the other side of that. I made a mistake. Now I want them to see that uh, I'm accountable for my actions, you know, and at the end of the day, I, I apologize to them. You know, I felt like I let them down, the institution down, uh, Ms. Olmstead, our president down, you know. So I'm kind of down just because I feel like I've let them down, you know, and I just want them to know that I apologize. Emily, this was a very emotional interview that I had today with Gregory as he tries to navigate how to deal with this mistake, as he calls it. We'll have more from this interview tonight at 10. Sounds great. We will, of course, tune in. Yesterday, there was no Friday night lights for Cardinal Ritter, and there won't be for the rest of the season. The entire coaching staff was let go after using an ineligible player in their first game of the season. The former head coach, Brandon Gregory, came to our station today wanting to apologize for his actions. I apologize to him. You know, I felt like I let them down, the institution down, uh, Ms. Olmstead, our president down, you know. So I'm kind of down just because I feel like I've let them down, you know, and I just want them to know. And I apologize, you know, but at the same time, with making a mistake, I have to be held accountable for my actions. Was it something that you did on purpose, or was it just something that you weren't fully aware of? I think it's a, a combination and, uh, of things that, like I said, at the end of the day, just went wrong. It was bad. It was a mistake that was made. Uh, and I think once we let, know, let Misha know what we had did, you know, and just had to uh, self-report and let them know the mistake that had happened uh, and just wait for them to come down with what they was going to do. How hard was that conversation to have with them that you talked about where you had to let them know, look, I made a mistake and this is what's going to happen? It was very uh, uh, emotional, of course. You know, I was very remorseful with them because uh, I think they needed to see that, you know, because like they said, I even tell them as kids, when you become adults, you're going to have to you will make mistakes. You have to get through it and fight through adversity. So to talk about it and then actually the head coach had to go through it in front of them, you know, uh, I wanted them to see that they can use my example to help prepare them for life, you know, because at the end of the day, as teenagers, you're going to make mistakes. As adults, we make mistakes, you know, but you have to move on from the mistake, uh, be accountable for it, and then, you know, at the same time, feel, feel sorry for it as well, you know. So I was, uh, it was very emotional, because uh, you got to think these are guys that I've been with since June. I was telling you, I got two daughters, so I take pride in being with, uh, around them young men, because I look up to them, I look to them as if all of my sons, you know, so to have that taken away, uh, it was just kind of, shocking, you know, and it hurt.